Happy full moon. How are you guys doing? Say hello if you're jumping on. I'm going to give us a couple moments just to get started here. How are you guys feeling today on this full moon in Gemini? I really love this energy. It's beautiful. We're going to get started here in just a moment. Make sure that you have a pen and paper. Make sure you have a glass of water. And if it's more comfortable for you to use headphones, use headphones. If it's more comfortable for you to be in a space where there's no distractions, do that. Obviously, that's always better for us for being in presence and in stillness and silence with ourselves. But I know that we can't always do that live, but you can come back and do that on the replay for sure. And the other thing that I encourage is if you guys want to um, have a space where you can lay down during this experience because we want to love on our bodies. This is a big, this harmony of bringing the human into integration, full integration with our spirits is one of the big, oh, Darlene, I love you. I'm so sorry, honey. Mm, sending you so much love. Somebody else in our group was just sharing that in the messenger chat, actually, for this event, saying that their best friend just passed as well. So I'm going to send both of you lots and lots and lots of love and space so that you give yourself space to grieve. I'm going to light some Palo Santo just to clear some of the energy that might be existing in this space. Just close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Start to move your body and get comfortable just to start to acclimate to this energy. I posted a full moon video in the group so that you guys can take a screenshot and see what affirmation is meant for you for this full moon energy. And that could be a mantra, it could be a journal prompt, whatever it is you wanna do, but um, it, they're fun. And um, if you're on my email list, you received all of them and they're really, really good. I've been, like the ones that have been coming through the past couple full moons have been so potent and they've just felt so good and powerful to me. These are really, really awesome prompts to get for free in using the energy and deepening your relationship with yourself. And just that's what I love about focusing on the Zodiac and focusing on the moon in particular. And this is one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. Good morning, Tammy, is the moon cycles and why it can be so helpful to integrate them into our healing and into our really our optimal vitality fighting off a headache and repeating no i'm not getting sick okay are you in resistance sherry <laughs> i hear you babe just take a nice deep breath in headaches are typically a sign that we've been going too much and we need to relax and chill and drink a lot more fluids so love on yourself show compassion okay I see you I know you're here I love you we're gonna get through this we're gonna be so healthy wellness is our natural state all the things listen to Abraham Hicks she'll kick you right in the ass um <laughs> Jennifer Kelly hi how are you thanks for being here so um anyway yeah the moon cycles are very very helpful to follow for a number of reasons one is, you know, when I talk about how awesome I think these journal prompts and mantras are and how deep they are and how they get to the core of things, when we go through the different moons and the different zodiac signs, we get exposed to different energies, different sides of ourselves, different opportunities and energies that exist within our fields. And so when, it, like if you save all the prompts for the entire year, you have a seriously awesome journal book, you know, that has prompts covering all aspects of human, all aspects of energy, all aspects of spirituality. So it's really kind of cool to be able to witness and take, take time to shed light on certain areas of ourselves based on what's going on in the cosmos. That's why I like full moons in particular, because full moons, you think about it, it's like a giant spotlight in the sky. 
right? Full of light, just completely illuminated. And that's what it's doing. It's completely shining on us and illuminating every single aspect of our being. And that can be parts of us that no longer serve us that we're like, oh, I don't like that part. Great. This is your time to say, I see it. Now I have awareness and I can release it. I can let it go. I can choose that I don't want to carry that into the next cycle. And the next cycle is simply one month. And sometimes you can even look at the next cycle as two weeks because the new moon comes in two weeks and you can set new intentions entirely. So it doesn't even have to be for a full month. I actually do two week increments. I find it works better for me. Typically people release on the full moon and manifest new things like launch things into being. And on the new moon, they kind of rest and plant seeds and get quiet and pious. And they don't necessarily, um, manifest or release things on the new moon. I do. I actually do a very similar ritual for full moons as I do for new moons, but the energy just feels very, very different. Morning, Shalane. How are you, honey? It's good to see you. Happy full moon. So the full moon really highlights all of us. So if there's shadows and there's things that have been kind of hiding out there that want to peek up to the surface and you see them during a full moon, that means they're starting to crawl up. They're like, I'm ready to get out of here. I don't want to be stuck in this chick anymore, <laughs> right? Like I want to be out. I want to move. Energy is here to move. It's natural state is movement. It's always in motion. And so when we shine a spotlight on it, we get to see some of those areas of energy that are in motion within us that we haven't necessarily been able to see as we're going about our daily lives. Callie, hi, honey. Good morning, love. I know it's not morning for you. And it's almost afternoon here. We've got about eight minutes. But anyway, so, so the reason I like working with the moon cycles in particular is as a woman, I really like to try to line them up with my menstrual cycle as much as possible. And I remember thinking that this was a crazy witchy thing to do when I first heard about it. Um, but then I read the book Do Less by Kate Northrup. Excellent book, especially for entrepreneurs. Awesome book. And she talks about, um, she's Christian Northrup's daughter. And she was like, I don't think like a homeopathic doctor or something like that. I can't even remember. Hey, Stephanie, good morning. I love seeing all these faces today. I love reading about how women all used to be synced. Exactly. So that's what's fascinating to me about this. All women's cycles used to be synced to the cycles of the moon. We would all bleed on the new moon and ovulate on the full moon every single time before artificial light came into our planet and technology and all the things. And so we've gotten off. But what's so hilarious is in this book, she says, simply set the intention to bleed on the new moon and you will. And I was like, she's full of shit because I was like, my periods do like a week later or a week earlier or something like that. Like, okay. So I set the intention. It freaking happened. I was like, you have to be kidding me that this shit works because that is what our bodies are naturally attuned to. That's what they're naturally meant to do. Because the moon is feminine energy. It controls the tides of the freaking planet. And our bodies are made up of over 70% water. So you don't think it's going to affect us, right? That it's going to affect our how we feel and how our bodies operate. Isn't energy fascinating, Tammy? Like, I could talk about this shit all day. I love it. Well, actually, I kind of do. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, it's really beautiful. And so... I, I like this because if you are not synced, let's say the new moon happens. You're supposed to rest during the new moon, right? We feel more tired. We feel more lethargic. We want to go within. It's kind of more of a shadowy period. And that lasts for about a week because we get it for three days before the new moon and three days for after with that energy, okay? And then let's say two weeks later on the full moon, you then get your period. So your opposite but what do you want to do during your period? You want to rest. You want to take space. You want to take time. You want to go within. You look at the shadows. And that's anywhere from like four to seven days, typically on average. So that's like two weeks out of the month that you're resting, going within, looking at the shadows. Da, 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 da. Great. That's fine. For me, it was fucking depressing. <laughs> I was like, dude, 
I have more momentum than this. I don't want to lay down this much. I don't want to rest. Like, I love to rest. I do it every day. But I was also kind of like, if I can sync my period with the new moon, then I am meant to. I'm sorry you guys are having trouble finding me. But I'm super glad you're here. And thanks for being persistent and finding us. Yay, Rachel. (laughs) Celebrating you, baby. I'm right there, too. So exciting. Anyway. But yeah, so now it's like if if I'm getting my period on the new moon, then my rest period is the same. And I have one week out of the month where I'm chilling, I'm loving on myself, I'm helping my girly parts, and I'm setting my intentions, I'm going within all the things. And then on the full moon, when I'm ovulating, that's when, those are the times I can never sleep because I'm like wide awake and I have so much creative energy. That's when we're meant to be like launching shit and sharing our ideas with the world. They align. So you're not getting these mixed conflicting energies. You know what I mean? Like if I'm ovulating on the full, or if I if it's the full moon and I'm not ovulating, then I have these conflicting energies, right? Where I'm kind of like, eh, but the full moon's like, go, 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 go. So when you sink your body, your mindset, your perspective, your belief systems, which is why these mantras and these journaling prompts that I've shared with you in the screenshot video, and if you're on my email list in the email list, and you'll be receiving some of those today in this workshop too, are so important to stay online with the energy because when they work with the energy, that's how we have this easy, graceful momentum. It just naturally goes. Okay. Um, Sam, so nice to see you. So good to see you too. Is anybody else having trouble with poor quality where the video keeps skipping? Let me know. How does this work if you're postmenopausal? It's the same. It's the same. So basically... Um, I don't know if you still get symptoms. Um, and thank you, Darlene. Exactly. So what Darlene said, it's paying more attention to your body and the signals and the symptoms. Cause I know a lot of people who have been either, you know, had a hysterectomy, like a full hysterectomy, or they've, um, already gone through menopause, but they still get symptoms around the time that they would ovulate and they still get symptoms around the time that they would have their periods. Not everybody does that, but I would tune in really closely to your physical body because I'd be very curious to see, or even just chart your energy. When is your energy the highest during the month? And when is your energy the lowest? And start to align those times if you find a theme or find a pattern with the moon cycles. Okay, because it's really, we talk about it Oh, you're getting glitchy too. Sorry, guys, if it's glitchy. So sorry. Um, oh, goodness, Karen. Jeez, yeah. I know. Mine already started, I think. But yeah, so um, so it's really the whole point of this, right, is that we are aligning our energy with the moon. And whether we're talking about physical energy of I'm actually bleeding or we're just being in tune with our energy, it's all energy, right? It's all energy. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. So, you know, it's the full moon, guys. <laughs> We're going to get glitches in places, I'm sure. There's a lot of energy. Okay, cool. So, <sighs> tell me how you're feeling before we start this, because I want to dive in. I am ready to dive in, and I want to know how you're feeling, because I want to use the energy that's present here with us today to really guide this experience for us. I already have... Um, you know, these mantras that I'm going to allow to be a little bit of a roadmap for us because they are a beautiful roadmap and they were brought through in a meditation that I did with the moon the other night. And I'll tell you exactly what I did. Um, we're, well, actually, I'm going to be taking you through it for the most part today, but it's it's really just like looking straight at the moon and just opening yourself. And that's what I'm going to be guiding you through today is just allowing her, like drinking her in allowing her to just infuse you with whatever it is you're meant to receive in that moment to not just release, like we talked about a spotlighting and and finding that awareness, but also to illuminate those parts of us that want to shine brighter, you know, allowing ourselves to be illuminated just like the full moon. Sad, sad. I know Darlene's sad. Amazing. I love super, I super love the moon energy. It's my favorite time to connect. You're trying to get over being sick. Okay. Feeling open. Good. Good. It was funny because this morning I have been, 
not feeling super great myself. And this morning, um, I was in a lot of pain and it was so funny because I was like teary because of the pain. And then, but I said to my husband, I was like, I had a great morning. He's like, really? Like <laughs> you were in a lot of pain and you were kind of sad. And I said, I wasn't sad. I was just moving the energy and giving myself space to let things flow, you know? And I said, you can be in serious pain and be really, really happy and fulfilled and content and satisfied at the same time. Um, and I, I love being able to continue to push limits of that, you know, um, not in a way where I'm forcing myself into anything, but in a, in a way where I like to expand because that way I get to, I get to explore. It makes me feel like I'm exploring new aspects of myself. Like I, I recently posted about that, this concept of holding excitement and zen vibes all at the same time and i'm mastering it i am getting there i'm so excited it just feels so good but all you have to do is set the intention and it will follow for sure mentally spent and confused very very normal especially on a gemini full moon because the gemini full moon is all about like those creative ideas lots of ideas lots of inspiration lots of creativity comes through with a gemini full moon i don't know if you have gemini in your chart jennifer but that would indicate an amplified feeling of being confused. And Mars is also part of this cosmic event. And um, it's creating some dissonance cognitively and mentally for people for sure. Thank you, Darlene. I love you very, 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 very much. Feeling a little emotional, just had a short nap. Oh, good. I'm so glad you let yourself rest. Hysterectomy at 31. Wow, Shalane. I feel the moon's energy is just in different ways. Okay, well, yeah, and uh, I'm glad you mentioned that, Shalene, because you guys can also note, and this is one of the things I did for a while, is I just charted um, what sign the moon was in, too, and I started to notice over the course of probably a year or so um, that Pisces moons are my favorites, and they also make me a little crazy um, because I just know, like, when a Pisces moon's coming, my intuition is immense, like, explosive, I'm awake all night. I can't sleep like those kinds of things. Um, so you can also notice that some cycles of the moon may feel different than other cycles and then look deeper into the astrology of it. Like what sign is this in? And is this, you can say, all right, how does this compare to my birth chart and all that stuff? But that can get complicated. And a lot of people don't know how to learn that. So you can literally just say, this is how I feel in Pisces moons. This is how I feel in Leo's moons. This is Leo moons. This is how I feel in Aries moons, right? And just kind of get an idea of, of what aligns for you and not because it's like I need to know what to expect so I can prepare myself but so you can use the energy to forward whatever it is whatever intentions you have in your life or whatever you want to actualize right like using the energy at those times when you know you can activate certain things or know that your rest is going to be most productive feeling wound up but excited good it always good thirsty for more energy and light to move my desires oh i love that so so much oh shalane sending you lots of lots of lots of love i hope you can rest today she loved the moon hmm. here at gemini yeah i'm just gonna catch up on a couple of these comments and then we'll jump into the ceremony yeah there's I love this. Um, I love this moon so much. I love this moon energy so much because it's really beautiful because it's that combat. It's, it's basically erasing duality for us. It's giving us the opportunity to, oh, grace. I am going to tune into your energy if I have permission later tonight when it's full because that sounds brilliant. Um, yeah, it's about this integration of the human and spirit and just erasing duality entirely. Like, that tension between I, I don't feel well, but I'm fulfilled. You know what I mean? Like that tension between I love where I am, but I really, really want this, you know, like being able to just say, I'm done with that shit. No, this is what I want to embody being really intentional about it. Okay. So speaking of intentions, let's set intentions for this full moon ceremony today. Oh, I'm so glad it's hitting closely, Karen, and resonating. Thank you for that feedback. That makes me happy. So yeah, so um, let's set some intentions. Now that you know a little bit about this full moon, 
you know, a little bit about working with the moon cycles. And we've had some time here together for about 15, 20 minutes to cultivate this energy and to just be in each other's presence and to share in this experience. What is the one thing that you would like? I'm going to say to receive during this full moon, not necessarily a ceremony in particular, but we're setting the intention for this full moon. Thank you, Sam. I love you when you do that. You know that. I'm so happy. Mm, Lisa, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you replayed the chanting. That was so good yesterday, and it was so fun. I could have done that all day long. So, yeah, so let's set intention. Needing balance and acceptance, okay? You're not needing it. You're desiring it. I'm going to change your wording so that it doesn't feel desperate to receive. I love that. Yeah. Because I don't want you to feel like you're creating something. That's what we do. Like we put this pressure on, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to set a goal to, I'm not going to be such a dick at the end of this full moon. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, well, guess what? We're not here to fix you. Okay. There's nothing wrong with you. But there's more I want to receive. I want to receive more love. I want to see, receive more self-compassion. That's for me right now. I want to receive more self-compassion. I want to deepen myself into that even more and immerse. I want to like bathe in self-compassion and just make it so beautiful that literally I'm constantly loving on myself. Like that's where I want to get to. So self-compassion is my intention. Desiring self-acceptance. Mm, love that. Yes. Energy and balance. Really want to release crippling despair from broken trust. Mm. Yeah, let's release that density from your field. Thank you. Support and understanding. Let's simplify and allow, or amplify and allow kindness to self. Self-compassion. Brilliant. Mm. Yes, receive all that is possible. Because when we receive, we receive what is most meant for us. What is most ready in our field. Rather than us setting our ego on this is what I want. And so if I feel this way, people have told me that when I need to manifest, I need to get to the feeling so that I can get what I want. So I'm going to, I want to call in this feeling so I get what I want. Again, we're not trying to get what we want. We just want to receive from the universe so that we have guidance and momentum to be guided to where we're meant to go. Receive understanding mm. from yourself or from others or from the universe. And my question would be, what makes you desire to receive understanding? What does that do for you? I'm broke. I want to receive more money. <laughs> yep. And guess what? Don't say you're broke because that interferes with you receiving more money. I want you to know I, re I wish to receive consistent alignment with the infinite, endless flow of abundance that is always pouring into my system and into my field because it's always fucking there. Understanding from the universe. Brilliant. I love that. This is the perfect time to deepen your intimacy with the universe because you desiring to understand more from the universe means that you desire to go deeper into yourself, to understand yourself even more intimately. And that's fucking beautiful. All righty. Thanks, guys. Let's get started. All righty. So the first thing we're going to do is a quick tapping. I'm just scrolling through because I want the records to pick a couple buzzwords that they want to use for the tapping. Mm. Okay. I got it. If you have not tapped before, just follow me. Hold on. I just want to make sure this is showing up in the actual group. Because you guys are having trouble finding it. Yeah, why is it? Is it just showing up in the event, I wonder? Which is weird.
Hmm. All right. Let me just um, let a couple people in before we start this. So if you need to pee or grab a water or anything, do it right now because we have like 30 to 45 seconds before we're going to start this or a minute before we start this. Okay. Yeah, I think it's probably just showing up in the event itself, which is just bizarre. Facebook has been really weird today, but I think it's because of... Is it on my my personal page? Oh my gosh, it, I am on my personal page. I am such a crazy woman. That's the problem. So I'm going to save it. Well, you know what? This is brilliant because the universe clearly wanted everybody to experience this. So this is brilliant. I'm going to share this into the expansion portal now so that it shows up right on the thing. Cool. That's what the universe wanted today. See, we get to share this energy with more people. Oh, thanks for your patience, guys. And here I am blaming Facebook technology and the energy. And it's just me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, well, now it's shared. So now everybody's going to be able to find us, and we can dive in like rock stars. Let's do it. Cool. I'm actually really excited right now because I'm like, yay, everybody gets to access this goodness. Okay. So we're going to start with a little tapping. And the tapping that we're going to use, oh, it's going to be so perfect because... I see a lot in here in all of your intentions and the things coming forward around really feeling, I guess, a little self-critical or a little hard on yourselves for feeling the way that you feel and a little bit agenda-ish, like this is what I want. You know what I mean? Right. It's a universal miracle. That's exactly. I'm like, all right, this is clearly what the universe wanted. So let's go with it. It is. It's full moon generosity. See, this is the abundance that's just giving to everyone. I love it. Alrighty. So put your feet on the floor, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin, take a nice deep breath in all the way to the base of your spine and slowly release. Just tune into your physical body. Keep your eyes closed to your emotions and your energy. Just identify how you're feeling on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the best and 1 being the worst. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. We're going to start with a karate chop point. You can just repeat after me. Keep your eyes open to follow along as I switch tapping points. You can use 1, 2, 3, or 4 fingers when you tap. And you can tap as lightly or as vigorously as you'd like. I'm kind of a vigorous tapper, so you don't have to follow my lead here. All right, nice deep breath in to get started. Even though I have all this doubt about who I am, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I sometimes don't know where I'm going or who I'm being, I know this will develop over time. And I choose to be patient with myself along this journey. Keep tapping and take a deep breath here. And we're going to move on to the tapping points. All of this doubt. All of this confusion. Sometimes I don't know which way is up. And I can't tell whether I'm on the right track. I can't tell whether what I'm doing is working. Am I a success or am I a failure?
And who defines that for me? I get to rely on my own wisdom. I get to tap into the infinite knowing within me. I get to bypass the mind. I get to sink deeper into self-intimacy. Into intricately knowing who I am. Into profound self-love and compassion. And I open up space within me. to hold an ever expanding amount of love and adoration for myself. Keep tapping and take a deep breath in. I am my own creator. Every reality that exists in front of me is a manifestation from myself. I get to own that. And owning that allows me to choose. Whether to be a victor or a victim of my circumstance. To step highly into my personal power. Keep tapping here and take a deep breath. and look myself straight in the eye with full acceptance. I love all of me. I love all layers of who I am. I love all the good, neutral, and nasty circumstances that come into my life. I embrace them all as gifts, valuable lessons, and miracles from the universe. Because they all change me. And I am here to change. My energy is always moving and I am always transforming. And I claim that I am here to take up space. I'm here to use my voice. I'm here to share my heart. And I do so without expectation of anything in return. I fully submit myself to the service of God and the universe. And I breathe deeply with the level of peace and ease that this provides my entire field.
Put your hands down, close your eyes, and take a deep breath in. Tune into your physical body, your emotions and your energy field, and identify how you're feeling on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst. Keeping your eyes closed, I'm gonna guide you right into the full moon meditation. Allow yourself to really feel the energy that moved and was cultivated during that tapping. Allow your body to keep buzzing a little bit and the energy around you to keep swirling and settling into exactly where it's meant to be to receive the healing and the intimacy and the connection in this meditation. This is where you can lay down if you'd like Make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes if they're not already closed. And take a nice deep breath in all the way to the base of your spine. And release. Take another deep breath into your heart space and pause. Now breathe in a little bit more to fill to the sides and the back. And slowly release. Continue to breathe slowly and deeply at a pace that's comfortable for you. Allowing your arms and legs to feel heavy. Your shoulders to fall back and down your jaw to loosen, your forehead to smooth, and your tongue laying gently in the base of your mouth. Imagine that as you're lying here, it's 11.08 p.m. Eastern time. We're in the dark night sky you can see this gorgeous, brilliant, full moon shining right down upon you. It illuminates the entire area around you. And you just take a few moments to breathe in its light. Just appreciating what it's offering you in this silent space together. And as you receive from this full moon, I want you to recite internally. I open myself to the magnitude of my own majesty. Allow that to be illuminated. I'm opening up my heart space. I'm opening up all my chakra centers. I'm allowing this light to completely fill me. I allow it to drown me out. so that my ego is no longer involved. My human life, my responsibilities, my requirements, my shoulds, all of those are irrelevant. The level of light you are taking in will not grow dim for a very long while until the next full moon giving you this entire cycle of four weeks to shine as brightly as you desire without apology. I don't have to apologize for my own majesty. I get to own any royal codes that exist within me. I get to own my leadership qualities, how just being me reflects to everyone around me. 
that my light guides the way for others to witness their own potency. Just being in my aura illuminates them, just like the full moon's doing for me. And then they get to see new aspects of themselves. And as I receive this light, healing frequencies are absorbing into every one of my cells now. I feel so cleansed as some of these cells break open and release any debris, codes, outdated programming, energy that desires to leave my physical body, that desires to leave my energy field. I allow all of it to drain out my root chakra now. Leaving behind such a clean template for moving into this next cycle so that my energy can create waves of impact to show the way for people who feel lost and desire direction. And to do this, I turn to my body My body is my human foundation. It's my human template from which I share my light. Allow your fully illuminated body to present to you in all its glory now. Scan your full physical body from head to toe. What's showing up? What is it telling you? There may be something it wants to release. There may be something it wants to say. And I want you to place your hand on your heart space and one hand on your belly. Lower abdomen if you prefer. And intentionally send yourself some love and compassion. It's okay. I love you. We're in this together. I will continue to fortify you. I devote myself to nourishing you with nutrients, with natural support. I celebrate your resilience. I honor and feel gratitude for your strength, for carrying me through all of the stimulation on this planet. And I vow to treat you as the sacred temple you are because you were entrusted to me by my soul. You are my greatest tool and my greatest teacher, and I bow to you in all of the magic that unfolds beneath my skin that I do not see on a day-to-day -day basis. Take a nice deep breath in to integrate this vow, to internalize it, to solidify it. So it remains on the top of your awareness, not only today, but tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. That you will prioritize your body, the cues it offers you over anything else, knowing and trusting the wisdom it carries. Because you choose to stretch yourself to expand into your next level self. But you desire to do so gently. You desire to do so with intention. I want you to feel into gentle in your body. 
Where is gentle being held within you? What does it look like? What does it have to say? And how can you more fully embody gentle? Your body is a playful expression of spirit. It may be messy, but it's making its way. We get to feel compassion and appreciation and even sometimes a little humor towards our bodies as it keeps up with our continued expansion. We're grateful for its patience and its resilience. We are grounded and steady. Now take a moment to open up your crown right above the top of your head. Knowing how firmly rooted you are, how solid of a foundation you are energetically and physically. And you are inviting in all of these codes from the full moon light, from the universal energy to activate your nervous system, to activate your chakra system, to soothe any areas that continue to need soothing. And to attune you closer and closer to the frequency of your highest self. You receive this infinite waterfall of light streaming into your field. And at this moment, as you embody it all, you are one. Your human and your spiritual selves are one right in this moment. So any extra extraneous energy that feels dense or sticky or stagnant dissolves into your own light, the light of your own aura. As you are one with the universe, this gets absorbed immediately by the universe and transmuted into momentum for us all, not just for you, but for the collective. You are a powerful vehicle of change and momentum. Place your hand on your heart space again. Take a nice deep breath in. You are enough just as you are. You get to unleash all of the wonderful, unique, quirky splendor that is you. And you will be accepted by yourself, by the universe, by the collective, by the mission that you are meant to fulfill. Rest in that knowing. Allow yourself to continue receiving. Whenever you're ready, you can wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, open your eyes, come back to the present moment. And let me know how you are feeling. And I am dropping all of those statements that guided our meditation in the comments. Those were in my email today too. Those, everybody on my email list always gets those every full moon and every full moon. So if you collect them, like I said, over the course of a year, you can really get 
all facets and sides of your human and areas of who you are to be able to have a really solid journaling map, you know? So the reason I'm dropping them here is because I want you to journal on them. I want you to choose the one that feels the most powerful or that felt the most powerful in the visualization so that you can either use it as a way to capture this vibe and carry it with you throughout this full moon energy, throughout this full moon cycle, or that you can dive deeper and say, I want to write more. I want to understand why this is activating me either in a good way or a way that makes you feel uncomfortable and allow it to flow. I feel peaceful, lovely, held, awakened, good. You're very, very welcome. So I want you to take these statements and if you want to share what felt the most potent for you, which part of that felt the most impactful, it's not just for me, it's for the collective, exactly. That's what this energy is all about for this moon. I'm really feeling a lot of that collective shift. Open and relaxed and ready to move forward. You're very, very welcome. Yeah, right? This is a good one. And I love that I did this on my personal page um, because this is available to everyone now. My headache was as ease to release happened. Oh, you're so welcome. That makes me so happy. Mm, you're so welcome, guys. I love being here with you. You're very, very welcome. Alrighty, so um, this was, again, supposed to be in my private Facebook group because I'm basically doing a bunch of different healing tools. I did an Akashic Records workshop on Monday, and I did chanting in the Akashic Records, which was freaking awesome, by the way, yesterday. And then I did this today. Tomorrow, I'm going to do Qigong. And then, and I will post what time that's going to be. And then Friday, I don't know yet. We're going to see what comes through intuitively. But I've been really called. It was over this past weekend, I think it was. Another weekend before, I can't remember. Um, that I was just really called to, I want to just dive deeper into my spiritual practices even more. I'm just being called to deepen my immersion. And so I wanted to do them with you. Because this is the kind of thing that we are going to be doing in my vitality course that starts in January. I'm going to be doing these three or five times a week in the Facebook group. And then we're going to be, you get four one-on-one -on -one sessions and you get one or sorry, two group coaching calls. And, um, it's 1,333. I'll put the link here in the comments. It's a ridiculous deal for the level of, of content you're getting. Cause it used to be a group program, but I switched it all to one-on-one, -on -one, but I kept the price the same. So um, I'm excited because what this does is it really allows us to internalize these practices so that they feel really automatic, so that they feel really easy. And that's what we want to get to. That's a lot of what this energy of this moon we was talking about today, right? It was like finding that ease, surrendering, receiving, allowing, and allowing spirit to guide our body, but also using our body's signals and communication to assist us with moving forward with greater ease. And don't we all want greater ease, right? So um, vitality is about reaching your highest level of vitality, like being the boss, being the authority of your own mindset, wellness, emotions, energy, duality, right? Like I want to be the master of it all. I want to master my nervous system. I want to master my emotions. I want to master my physical body. And I can say that even myself when I've been like a healing champ the past seven years, right? But like, I can say that myself, like, this is always a journey. We're always unfolding. We're always going to get to that next level of who we are because we're seekers. That's who we are. And I want to do so with the strongest foundation possible so that I am entirely unwavering. That is my ultimate intention is to really align with that frequency of the universe. So I love you. Thank you for being here. Check out Vitality. Feel free to message me or um, we can jump on a quick chat too if you have questions about it or if you want to see if it's a good fit. I'm always open to doing that. And I'm so excited that the universe gifted this to my personal page. Yay! Happy full moon, everybody. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And keep your eyes peeled for the Qigong practice that's going to be posted for tomorrow. Love you. Bye.